We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I caught her out, now I got blood on blue Balenciagas Yo, what it do, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness, and I hope you guys are having a good day today. But I gotta tell you, I'm pretty upset. Now, I wasn't gonna talk about it yesterday because I felt like maybe it was just me. Maybe it was the fact that I was just mad that my build got a little bit nerfed. But no, 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 it's not that. I go on Twitter, and I see people everywhere talking about how their builds got nerfed. You know, all of the shooting nerfs happen, and they're missing wide open. So not only did they break the game, but what's got me even more livid to make this video today is I get on, I get on Twitter today, just looking around, wondering what's going on, seeing if things change, and I notice a tweet from Mr. Mike Wang himself. You know, I really wish the game wasn't so dictated by this man here, because he makes the most questionable decisions, because... I'm to the point where I think he doesn't even play the game. He just kind of has his own voting system on Twitter where he just kind of listens to certain. If 20 people scream about certain types of things, they're just going to completely fix it. Everybody's screaming about defense when they don't realize they need to put their hand up to make sure that a defense is contested. But okay, okay, fine, fine. Here we go. I'm going to tell you guys exactly what the Mr. Man said himself. He said, today's shooting update was a bit too conservative. Taking another step tomorrow morning, I mean, sorry, another stab tomorrow morning, Perimeter Contest will see a stronger buff in Park and Pro-Am, and Layup Percentages get another boost as well. Thanks for the feedback. So, last night, not only, not only were there pure slashers going up on my big man, making contested, full-on contested layups. Like, I'm talking about the weirdest animations you can think of possibly. Not only were they making those, they were also... Also, the shooting percentages in general, so down. Me and my friend couldn't hit any shots yesterday. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're just trash. Don't, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Shots that I was hitting, uncontested open shots. Now, I don't care. You can say what you want. Oh, you don't take smart shots, this, that, and the other. Or your timing's bad. No. No. Good timing, open shots, still missing. Yes, they're full white and they're not greens, but I shouldn't have to green every shot for it to go in. I'm talking about I was missing shots with the jump uh, with the jump shot landing meter on. Like this is the problem I'm having. Every single year for the last like three or four years, because I've been playing 2K15 or I've been playing since 2K15, which is about a year before, uh, like the same year that the consoles came out. So basically, this new wave of 2K I've been playing for pretty much all the time, except for 2K14. I mean, I've been playing this game the whole time, played almost every iteration of Park, and it happens every year, except for 2K15, where every time, the shooting is fine at the beginning of the game. It's okay, it's tolerable. Yes, people are get upset when you take fadeaway threes. Yes, people get upset when you hit from half court. But that's what they make the build for. You made your build to do something specific, and if you weren't able to do it, then you would be upset. If a slasher made a slasher build and was not able to dunk, they would be pissed. And that's what I'm telling you guys, is that just because we made our builds to be that type of way, and this is not coming from a way, I, I get it, you know? I still can make my fadeaway threes. I still can hit those if they're open, and it forces me to take a little bit smarter shots than I was already taking. I respect that, but when I'm missing open shots, that's when it becomes a problem. That's when it's like, what are you doing to the game? Do you even care about the whole community or just this section of people? Because just as many people were saying, hey, shooting's fine, don't worry about it, then they were saying, oh, hey, it's, it's kind of like I'm like, do they, they might even play the game. Maybe they got their asses whooped by their own build, by these builds, and they're like, oh man, man, whoa, whoa, that's OP. That's because that's what it feels like. It feels like it's not an actual, like, decision made by the company, but as made by this one person or this group of people that aren't really caring about, like, the actual community. Because you see people that say, oh, this build is toxic, but it's like, every build has its advantages. Every build has its disadvantages, and that's why this game seems so balanced at the beginning. Literally, there were blatant advantages and disadvantages to each and every build. Like, mine. I run out of stamina pretty fast. I'm a pure shot, so I run out of stamina pretty fast. Even with my stamina at 98, I still run out of stamina pretty fast. But, 
I get tireless score. Like, there are pros and cons to each and every archetype. And for them to blatantly just nerf shooting like this, making it so we miss so many shots because nobody has to be... Dude can be 10 feet away from you with his hands in his pockets, staring at you, and now you're contested. That is not okay. That is not something that should be happening. The court is, like, too small for all of that, especially when a lot of people make smaller builds that can, you know, that are really effective at catching up to the person. So, when you take away things, like, being able to just take your open shot when you get it, instead of having to move around 5 million times, you know, there also isn't any zigzag cheese. Now, I'm saying, not saying that I want the zigzag cheese. What I am saying is that there's nothing to help you get open now except for your big man. And it's all just not functioning well. And they're going to try to add more nerfs to it. And all I have to say at this point is everybody better be ready to migrate to Blackout or back to Fortnite. Because at this point, they're doing it again. They're going to lose most of their community based on their ridiculous hotfix changes. Instead of making two patches about this, they should have patched things that were, you know, a little bit more retarded. Like the pushing your man inbound glitch or the being able to move off the inbound glitch. Those are both game-breaking glitches. Those are both glitches that really affect what you do, especially in 2v2s. But instead, they want to say, oh, we'll release that in the next patch. Nowhere near knowing when that's going to happen. But we're going to fix your shooting, so you can't do anything right now anyway. I'm not saying everybody misses every single shot. I'm not saying that. I know this seems like I'm just bitching because I might not be able to shoot very well. That's not it either. But there are games where I completely miss everything and it makes no sense because I'm not being contested, because I'm taking good shots. And because you have the defense the way it does, anybody that does know how to play defense is going to be even more bothersome. Like, I get it. You want your shot contest to not be so accurate, but I don't see why you're nerfing it so much. Like, I just don't see it. But that's all I have to say about this situation, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys would comment down below how you guys feel about 2K. If you guys are even feeling the same way you felt when you watched the trailer, you know, uh, like how are you guys generally feeling about 2K? Also, guys, if you guys are into customizing your controller, make sure you guys hit up the link in the description below. It is my Fatal Grip sponsorship link. I just got that, so I'm pretty excited about it. You guys get 10% off things that make your controller look fancy schmancy. So, make sure you guys hop over there. You guys check out their product and do me a favor. If you guys do feel like buying something, make sure, make sure you guys use my discount code. It'll also be in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys uh, click that sub button. You know, because if you have it, you're missing out. All I can do is tell you. All I can do is tell you you're missing out. But, with that being said, I'm out of here. Peace. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers. Walking out the tin and blue Balenciaga.